I'm Carly Sherman. And I'm Marissa Justice. And this is Midford Media. We are kicking off the beginning of the year with lots of excitement. First off, let's see who our reigning homecoming court is. Congratulations to your 2024 fall homecoming court. Your freshman attendant is Annie Blair. Sophomore is Lexi Claxon. Junior attendant is Ava Estep. Your CTC attendant is Skylar Steinhauer. Your senior attendants are Kendall Ramey and Lexi Pendleton. And best for last year, 2024 fall homecoming queen is Carly Sherman. I'm Myla Horsley. And I'm Hannah Stockham. And it's time for your athletic, athletic review. review. Our football team is matched up against the Northwest Mohawks on September 20th for a homecoming game. Come out and support our team. The boys and girls soccer teams have climbed high this season with multiple wins and great sportsmanship. We will soon watch them in action for tournaments. Wish them luck. Our Lady Falcons tennis team is coming to an end with an outstanding record. Go Lady Falcons! Good luck to our golf team and sectionals. Keep up the good work. Our Falcons have had a great fall season. Congratulations to our senior athletes. You've, You've made, made us proud. Menford High School has received an exceptional honor. WSAZ came to Minford to film a Fired Up Friday segment during our homecoming week. Fired Up Friday is a WSAZ segment that showcases different schools who have shown great pride and dedication to their school spirit. Please enjoy as we show you some behind the scenes footage that can only be found here on Minford Media. It's that time of year again. That's right, a couple weeks ago, the River Days Festival had their annual pageant and Minford is proud of their representative, Lexi Conkle, who won the title of Miss River Day's first runner-up. Let's hear from some of our students who participated in the festival. Hi, I'm Lexi Conkle and I'm this year's Miss Minford. All right, so a couple questions that I have. The first one is, what is your platform? What is it about? What does it mean to you? So my platform is entitled The Golden Hour. And for those of you who don't know, The Golden Hour is the first 60 minutes of any accident. And in this most crucial time, a citizen should receive crucial medical care. My dad has been part of the Minford Volunteer Fire Department since he was 18 years old, so I've grown up surrounded by all these brave men and women leaving and coming back from these runs. As a little girl, I would be sitting at the fire station and these men and women would come back upset, and I never understood why because they just saved somebody's <laughs> life. So as I've grown older, I realize that that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. They're showing up to these scenes not knowing if it's a family member, a family friend, or a friend of their child's until they arrive. So I wanted to make their jobs a little bit easier. So I brought the Yellow Dot program to Sida County and the Yellow Dot program is a kit then where you will fill out any important medical information the first responders need to know. Once you fill it out, you will then place a Yellow Dot sticker on your back driver's side window and this alerts the first responders to check in your glove box for this Yellow Dot kit. I've handed out over 3,000 of them so far. So if anybody would like to get one, you just have to message me and then we can meet somewhere and I can show you how to fill it out. And yeah. And what's one positive thing that you've taken away from the entire experience? So I went into River Days to grow in myself, to gain mm -hmm. confidence, because I've always been the little girl in the back of the classroom hoping that the teacher wouldn't call on me. And I wanted to grow and I didn't want to be that girl anymore because for my degree, when I go to college, I want to go into marketing. Mm -hmm. So and that involves lots of talking and communicating with a ton of people. So that is one thing I have learned from about myself is I actually can get up in front of anybody and I can talk and talk. And so I feel like seeing the growth in myself from the start to now has mm -hmm. been the biggest thing. All right, and then our last question is, what is your River Days parade float and theme? So River Days theme this year is River Days on the red carpet and all of those contestants had to pick a movie where we could be the woman leading role. So the movie I chose was Wonder Woman because of the saying, not all superheroes wear capes. The first thing I think of when I hear this saying is a first responder. Actually, in the first Wonder Woman movie, she doesn't wear a cape. So I think it ties in perfectly. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I'm with Ellie McHenry, and she is one of the two representatives from Inford High School on the River Days dance team. So we're going to ask her a few questions. How have you prepared for River Days? So like every Sunday since school is let out, we've had practice from like one to four. But since it's gotten closer to the pageant, it's like dwindled down to only be like an hour. How are you feeling leading up to River Days? I'm not nervous at all because since I do competitive dance, I'm on stage all the time. How have you prepared for the River Days Parade? Uh, we sort of been like, practicing our music, you know, like a little bit of marching here and there, but we've mainly been running 
uh, the different songs that we're going to be performing during the parade. How are you feeling leading up to the River Days parade? Uh, you know, feeling a bit anxious because I know it's going to be hot, but it's going to be uh, pretty fun, you know, seeing like all the different floats. Uh, hopefully our music's pretty good. And seeing all the people like excited for the float, for Miss River Days, for the band, you know, it's just going to be a lot of fun. A new year comes with a new face. To stay informed on upcoming events, here's monthly updates on Conley's calendar. Thanks, guys. If you're interested in being featured in the Senior Spotlight, please be sure to email Mrs. Laxton if you want to be featured in an episode. As you know, next week is Homecoming Week, and here are upcoming themes. Monday is PJ Day. Tuesday, Country vs. Country Club. Wednesday, Stars and Stripes. Thursday, Throwback Thursday, Decade Day. And then Friday, as you know, is Fired Up Friday. That morning, there will be a pep rally in the gymnasium. The ACT registration deadline for the month of October is September 20th, and the test will take place on October 26th. Lastly, congratulations to your 2024 and 2025 student council. We have a brand new segment never seen before on Rupert Media. Tatum Carroll is hosting activities and will update us on the latest happenings in Mr. High's agriculture class. This week in agri-science, class students should be finalizing their final tree identification project that's due on Monday, September 16th. With a portfolio of 15 leaves they have collected and identified. They are also continuing to learn the FFA Creed and on Thursday will be able to recite the first two stanzas. We are also going to create an environmental scavenger hunt for our younger students on school grounds around the middle and elementary school area. Next week, we are looking to start a project on the history of agriculture. Hi Falcons and welcome to Weekly's Birthdays. This is a new segment and we hope that you'll join us in participating. Ms. Laxton will send out an email to every staff and student with a Google Form. If you choose to fill out the Google Form, then we will randomly select one birthday to receive a fun surprise and be on the broadcast featured during this segment. Summer birthdays are allowed to join as well, so please fill out the form and wait for the surprises to begin. It's trivia time! What was Minford's original school colors before they were red and gray? Green. Purple and gold. Okay. Um, who was taught the longest here at Minford High School? Chuck Miller. Yep. You are the first person <laughs> to get that right. <laughs> what were Minford's original school colors before they were red and gray? Purple and gold. Yes, sir! Who has taught the longest at Minford High School? Uh... I don't know. You say a teacher. Say it anyway. Mr. High? Nope. It's Mr. Miller, but good guess though. And what year did yellow become the official color of the America School Bus? 1974. I 1939. Oh. What was the name of Menford before it was renamed? I don't know. Harrisonville. What year was the township of Menford renamed? 1935. Four. 1917. What were Menford's original school colors before they were red and gray? Purple and gold. Yep. Um, who's taught the longest at Menford High School? Mr. Miller. <laughs> um, what were the Menford original colors before they were red and gray? Yellow and purple. Yeah. Yep. I knew that. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. Pur purple and gold. That's the same. Yellow and gold. That's pretty hey, much the same thing. I was hey. close. Um, what was the name of Medford before it was renamed? Mule Town? Close. Harrisonville. <laughs> and our, the next question What were Medford's original school colors before they were red and gray? Right, we just talked about this. Purple. And gray. Oh, purple and gold, but that's close. Ready? Yep. What's a snake's favorite subject in school? I think it's three. A snake. History. That's all for this episode. We'll see you next time. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I think the table's have turned. <laughs> Crab that muffin. That is hard. Did that sound right? A new year? <laughs> Say it, Carly. Tell us what was true. <laughs> It's trivia time. It's like, trivia time. Like, it's okay. trivia time. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is your. You have to say it together. Okay, the tri yeah. this... yeah. Oh my goodness. Can you yeah, see our feet? See. see every other. Or other every. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, our golf team is perfect. <laughs> okay. Both our golf Falcons. Is October. 2024 MHS football homecoming. <laughs> Why did I do this? And Friday is, of course, Fired Up Friday. That. F <sighs> if you were interested. If they. Ugh. Science. Class students should be finalizing their tree. I, I'm not. <laughs> oh, you hit it. Am I too close? Just the bushes still. Like walk okay. up a little bit and then like stop. Okay. Can you see me? <laughs> Class students will. <laughs> that is due on Monday. Agriculture. Fix it, man. <laughs> it's the you started. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, because they're gonna hear the answers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> yeah, one at a time. Yeah, one at a time. You guys, go back. Well, I don't know that I know.